Oh, yeah. Welcome back. This is huge. We're going back to back, back to back videos in less than seven months. That hasn't been done in at least a year. So we got so much stuff. We got tons of new stuff that it was like how to bring it forth. Well, instead of just going from the earliest or the uh, the, the earliest pickup, I figured, you know what? Let's just group them. What difference does it make at this point? So I'm grouping all the steel books I've picked up since the last time I picked up a steel book and putting them out right now. So this is like a steel book pickup. And here we go. Uh, we're going steel book. Little piranha. This was, uh, you know what? I wanted to see this in the theater, but I was too young. This came out, I think, right after Jaws. Now, I saw Jaws, but Jaws was rated PG. And this was rated R. So I actually didn't get to see this until maybe a year or two ago. And um, I really probably, I could probably easily say I didn't miss anything. But nonetheless, it was good to see. Now, let's go. Little Hannibal. It's a little um, um, uh, debossed there. Figured I needed the Hannibal because I already had Silence of the Lambs. This is probably like this right here is probably my might be my most favorite movie. If it's not my most favorite movie, because favorite movies change all the time, but easily top three movies of my life. All right, next. This is a good one. This was this one scared me. A little Amy Amityville horror. I mean, this is a look at this. I mean, how come the U.S. can't put steel books out like this? I'll never understand that. A little Amityville horror. Oh, this was a great one. This is probably this might be. This might be. One of the scariest TV shows ever made. Little Salem's Lot. This one scared me when I was a kid. Especially that kid vampire that comes to the window. Ooh. That one freaked me out. And I love, I'm loving that vampire look right there. Salem's Lot. Great movie. And it's great because it's like, it's three hours of goodness. Alright, little rabbit. This one was good. This was pretty cool. This is a little arrow video. Little arrow video with a buttload of extras. Look at all those. God. Alright, next. Next up, let's see. Let's uh let's jump on over to the fog. Little screen factory. This one came with a really cool poster of this shot, but it's it's like uh, a wide, wide like a widescreen shot of it. Pretty cool. I didn't take it out because I knew I would never get it on the film, but the fog always one of my favorites. All right, next we have. More of a metal pack. A little carry. Yes, I showed this on Laserdisc last week, uh, last video. But I actually had this first. Then got the Laserdisc because I found that Laserdisc for like a buck. So this is uh, all embossed. Pretty cool. Like I said before, this is like... This is like one of my favorite movies. I think this is like a totally sad movie. I feel bad for Carrie every time I think about it. Now, let's go. Uh, let's go. I have not seen this. 
I want to see it. I know I'm probably going to be disappointed because all I hear is bad things about it. Little Alien Covenant. Um, I hear nothing good about it, but nonetheless, I got to see it because I'm such a huge fan of the first movie. So this here completes my Alien Steelbook set. So here, let's see, I have Alien. Saw this in the theater. See what's what's funny about these movies is here we have Alien, classic sci-fi horror, right? Then you have Aliens, which I love. I loved that when I saw it. Now I'm kind of probably getting a little bit tired of it because it's more like a super action horror. Well, sci-fi horror. It's kind of a super action sci-fi horror, I should say. Although I loved it, I like the suspense horror element of, of uh, did I go black? Of Alien. Now, Next would be Alien 3. Saw this, and I was, I remember being disappointed. Going, man, slightly disappointed. And then we saw Alien Resurrection, and it was going down, it went downhill even more, right? So, then, like I showed you, Alien Covenant. So that's the Alien Steelbook collection. Although, I know there's a Prometheus Steelbook. Kind of might be interested in getting it. I liked Prometheus. I thought it was very, very good. Okay, next. Let's go. Let's go. I have not seen this. I really want to see it. And I can't wait to see it. I heard good things about this. A little 4K. I don't even have a 4K set, folks. But this is a great looking steelbook. I can't wait to see it. Next. This one. A little Suspiria. I love this movie. Love it. Love the soundtrack, too. Huge fan. This is a steelbook, but it's, it's all packaged up, and it's got a slip cover on it, so... I've seen the slip. I, I've seen the the steel book and it's awesome. This one, it's gonna be tough to open. This was expensive. This was like sixty five bucks. But which is but here's here's the way I work. I'm constantly selling not a whole lot of stuff, but I'm selling like maybe some laser discs, maybe some collectibles, or maybe some movies that I don't really that I just don't want, and I sell that stuff, and then kind of gather it in the old PayPal account and some, something like this comes along 65 bucks when I don't want to spend 65 bucks on it I don't care to me it's like a trade I'm trading stuff I don't like for something that's I would that I want regardless of the price so that's all I got for you right now uh, we got more tons more so stay tuned for some more great goodness that didn't make sense at all. All right. Take it easy. All right. Bye.